Alcohol-related brain damage can cause a host of problems, including dementia. But does alcohol actually kill our brain cells, especially if we're drinking daily or binge drinking? Over a third of people in the Western world have a drink every single day. It's an alarming figure. How much are you drinking? Have you been worried about your own alcohol consumption? Leave a comment below and let me know where you're at on your journey. But let's take a look at whether alcohol actually kills our brain cells and the other damage that alcohol causes when we're drinking regularly. As soon as we have that first drink, alcohol starts interfering with our brain chemistry. It affects GABA, a neurotransmitter that's responsible for our inhibitions and control over our short and long-term memory. Once that starts to happen, we begin to experience slurred speech, unsteadiness, and an impact on how quickly we can react. Our reflexes become impacted. And if we drink too much, we might even black out where we can't remember what happened, where we have huge gaps when we wake up the next day in our memory of the night before. A recent survey showed that over 40% of young people who were questioned about this had experienced a blackout in the last 12 months. A truly alarming and shocking figure that goes to show the impact that drinking heavily can have on us. Now it's a myth that alcohol actually kills our brain cells, but the impact is actually far wider reaching. While it doesn't kill the brain cells, it does affect our brain chemistry. And this can lead to a whole host of problems, including an instability in our moods. We may feel euphoric one moment and then depressed the next. It might increase our anxiety levels or cause us to feel angry, aggressive, or even confused. Take a moment to think about how you felt after you've been drinking. And this isn't the immediate impact of alcohol. This can happen after we've drunk. It can be the next day. You may have heard of the term anxiety, where we feel more anxious the next day after drinking. And this is all around our brain chemistry being affected. The most frightening aspect about all of this is if we continue drinking heavily over the long term. We can damage the neurons in our brains. The ends of the neurons can become damaged. This can make it difficult for them to send signals to the nerves in the correct way, which can lead to a whole host of problems. Again, these are generally emotional, but it can be far wider reaching. Brain scans have shown that people who drink heavily can experience a shrinking in their brain. Some of the issues that can arise when we drink heavily or regularly include dementia, poor circulation in the brain, a range of mental health issues, including psychosis and even hallucinations, and big changes in mood or personality. Again, a big part of this journey is all about becoming self-aware and paying attention to what's happened in your own experience. This is a great opportunity to think about whether you've started to be impacted by any of the things that I'm talking about in this video. Have you noticed how your mood has not been as stable as it used to be? Are you spending more time feeling depressed, angry or anxious? Take a moment and notice it and know that alcohol is probably playing a part in that. If we carry on drinking long term, we cause even more neurotransmitter damage and even structural abnormalities to the brain, which can be long lasting and devastating. Alcohol is directly linked to dementia as well as short and long term memory loss. The best thing you can do is to start working through the process of educating yourself about the best way to break free from alcohol. If you feel like you need to drink every single day, then it's important to start exploring why you need to change the way you feel. What's wrong with the way you feel in that moment? When you start getting to that, you can start really exploring it with some curiosity and there's so much support out there that can help you begin to move forward into a place where you feel like you just don't want to drink alcohol any longer, as opposed to feeling like you've had something taken away from you and you can't have alcohol any longer. And that's an important difference to notice. You can join my Facebook community, which is an amazing place where you can get completely free support 
and connect with people who are on the exact same journey as you. I also run a brilliant stop drinking program. The website address is on the screen, so take a look at that too. You might also want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's several new videos every single week that will help you start gently venturing forward into an alcohol-free life if that's something that you want to explore. Simply hit the button on the screen now and you'll be subscribed and you'll be notified every time that there's a new video. And right next to me is a video all about the effects of alcohol on the human body. We've talked a bit about the brain and the fact that it's a myth that alcohol kills brain cells. It just damages our brain in a totally different way. But I also want you to know what alcohol does to all the regions of the human body because there's not much that it doesn't affect. So check that video out next and I'll see you next time.